What's up, guys? Uh, it's Joey here. We just got done playing uh, one two at Mad River Poker Club. Um, I believe that we bought in for three seventy five. Uh, but without further ado, let's hit the belt. So the first thing I have for y'all today, it's a pretty one, king, queen of diamonds, and we're in under the gun. We raised to 15, uh, and the low jack uh, makes the call, and so does the big blind. So we go three ways to a flop. The flop comes queen, six, five, two spades. The big blind checks, and now it's on to me. Uh, I do believe that a uh, C bet here is appropriate, as we bink top pair. So I decided on a sizing of $15 here, and the low jack makes the call, and so does the big blind. So the pot is now $93, and the turn comes the two of diamonds. Wow, what a great card for our hand. Uh, the big blind checks to me, and here I'm thinking of a good sizing. I was thinking of uh, what the total pot was, but I do believe I go with uh, $50, just because it's around half pot, you know? Um, with this $50 bet, uh, sadly, the low jack and the big blind both fold. However, we do scoop a pot of $143, I guess. So the next hand that we pick up is 6-4 uh, clubs, and we are in under the gun. I do believe that I limped here. Yes, uh, that's terrible. And the small blind decides to punish me for limping and raises to 12 total. The big blind makes the call, and I elect on a call here as well. Two middle position players also make the call here. So the pot is $56, and we're going five ways to a flop, which comes seven, four, ace, two spades. So action checks to me, and I also elect on a check. And thankfully, the other two players check as well. So we go five ways to a turn, which comes the six of spades. Nice. So we drill two pair on the turn, sneaky little two pair at that. Um, action does check to me again, and obviously we do want to bet here to charge uh, maybe spade draws. And I know that there's three spades on the board, but I'm not really too scared of that. Um, so I think I do bet out $35 here. So after this $35 bet, uh, the middle position players, both of them fold, and now it's back on the small blind. He also folds, and so does the big blind. So we do scoop a pot here of $91. I think the king and the queen of poker missed me because they come back to visit me again here. However, they are in the club variety this time. So I believe that we are in the cutoff and we raise to $20 and we only get one collar, which is the small blind. So we go heads up to a spicy flop of six, king, nine, two hearts. The small blind checks to me and I bet out $15. The small blind makes the call, and now the turn is the Jack of Hearts, uh, which is not a great card for our hand. Um, the small blind decides to go all in for around $48, and now we are left with a decision. We do take our time uh, to make a decision here because the board is pretty wet. Uh, Queen 10 obviously gets there, any hearts gets there. Uh, he could have King 9 suited, he could have King Jack, however, I, I block those. I also block queen 10. Um, so now I'm kind of just really worried about the hearts. But after thinking it over for a while, I do elect on a call. So the river comes, the seven of diamonds doesn't really change a whole lot. However, my opponent flips over jack nine for the turn two pair. Good old jack nine. Nice, man. Cool. Nice hand. Oh boy, this next one's a fun one. Uh, we have ace-king, and we are in the small blind. Uh, it folds around to the button, who decides to raise to 15. I think you know what we're going to do here. We're going to three bet. Um, but I, I really don't think you have to three bet ace-king every time, especially because it's just me and the button. Um, however, I do choose a sizing of $61, and the button does make the call. So we're going heads up to a flop, which comes nine, five, ten, all clubs. 
So as you can see, uh, not a great flop for Ace King, especially when we're not holding a club. So I check here and the button quickly checks back. Now the turn comes the seven of clubs, uh, not a great card either. I check and he also checks back pretty quickly. So the river comes the queen of clubs and I am now kicking myself for not betting on the first two streets because it's pretty clear to me that my opponent on the button doesn't have a club. However, I do decide to check this one last time because I feel like he's going to call any bet regardless. I check and he thinks for a little bit and ends up checking back. I don't have a club. I don't either. I have it. Chopping it up. I have it. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping for a way yeah. giver. Yeah. 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 You bet any time there. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> I should have bet. I'm so dumb. I was thought I'm about so it, but I didn't dumb. Trust you. I was gonna I was gonna lead out on the turn and but I was like, dude, if he has like, any really any clout, I'm so the last hand that I have for y'all today is a uh, queen knight of hearts and we are in the cutoff. Uh, we raised to 15 after it limps to us. Um, and now the small blind three bets us to 35. Um, and the hijack also decides on a call here for the 35. And it's only 20 more for me to call. So I do also make this call. So we go three ways to a flop. The flop comes king, six, three, rainbow, and the small blind player decides to check, and so does uh, the hijack player, and seeing as we have nothing on this board, we check as well. The turn comes the eight of hearts, which uh, gives us a flush draw. However, the small blind leads out for $55, and looking back on this, I... Um, I thought this was pretty strong, but I didn't think of my pot odds here. The pot was $100, and he's only really betting uh, half pot in the turn. So uh, I thought this came off as really strong, and I didn't really want to call off $55 uh, for just a flush draw. And the hijack player also made the call. So I, you know, looking back, I really should have made this call just because of our pot odds. It was like... 55 to win 260 so I looking back I should have made this call and sadly I do fold and the river comes out the four of hearts oh my god Joey what are you doing yeah. <laughs> hey guys thanks for watching the video uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm sorry the vlogs are still kind of short. I'm still having storage issues with my phone. Um, however, I will get that fixed soon. Also, make sure to check out Mad River Poker Club. Uh, they have daily tournaments and cash games. But uh, summary for today, I believe that I bought in for around 375 and left with 500, so a profit of $100, which is not bad. But um, I'll see you on the felt next time. Hey, what are you doing in there? Uh, um, I just want to remind y'all to uh, also like and subscribe because it uh, helps a lot and I spend a lot of time working on these videos and it would mean so much if you liked and subscribed and maybe commented on the video as well. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for y'all. I'll see you on the felt next time.